Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a while since I've been out in the shop. A lot's been going on. There was the trip to Panama, of course, but more importantly, I'm now at the epicenter of the US COVID-19 outbreak. Um, so far, it isn't super disruptive. Um, I'm working from home now, as are most people I know whose job lets them. Um, traffic's noticeably much lighter. Uh, certain items in the grocery stores are just gone because of the hoarding people are doing. Uh, but mostly we're just kind of watching the city slowly shut down around us as colleges um, in their classes and large events get canceled. And uh, well, we'll see how it stands in a week or two, how far this goes. But in the meantime, there's no reason not to get some shop work done, I guess. So let's get back to the pneumatic slide whistle project. When uh, last we talked, I was waiting for this die, which is 1 8 inch 27 NPS. That's a straight pipe thread. And with this, I can now start making some nozzles for one of my air blow guns to uh, start testing different nozzles and see how that works with the whistle. So let's get to that. Before I can get started, though, I just noticed my standard lathe uh, die holder. This doesn't quite fit in there. Um, and so I'm going to just widen this just a touch. It's very close to fitting in. I don't have a lot of round dies, so never really noticed this before. Here's the plan. I have just a little chunk of steel in here. I'm going to turn it down and thread it on one end, drill a hole into it, just a little nozzle hole, and then part it off. And then I'm going to weld that into the end of a section of pipe, the same pipe I've been using for the whistle, and cut off a couple inches of that. Then that can kind of be my test bed, because I don't entirely know what shape I want at the end. So this way I can start prototyping just by like holding my fingers up and uh, <clears throat> channeling the flow that way. And then once I decide I have a, what might work, then I can uh, make it more official in the steel. But I think this will be a good way to play with a lot of ideas very quickly. Maybe that die wasn't as well adjusted as it could have been, but it works and it's airtight. That the air that's coming out is coming out through the valve, not through up here, so it's as good as it's going to get with this cheap blowgun. Okay, now I just need to drill that hole through there and uh, cut it off. you're probably saying, why am I bothering to clean up the back side of this? It's going to be welded into a pipe. It's on a test piece. It really fundamentally doesn't matter. And you're right, it doesn't matter. But I think maybe the shakers were on to something when they, even in, I don't know, maybe this is all bullshit. But this is what I heard, that on their woodworking, like even the hidden joints were really good. Even the ones that you would never see again, ever, no human would ever see it again. And they would say, yes, but God will see it. And I think 
I think maybe they were on to something. Yeah, there it is. See, it's just, it's just nicer to hold now. I'm, I'm just happier to have made it with that back cleaned up. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't have bought all this gear over the years if this isn't what I really wanted to be doing. So, so I'm going to do it. Let's weld this in. Okay, all ready to weld. I have this uh, just spare rod that's just jammed inside the adapter. So that helps it, helps it hold its place inside the pipe. So just need to uh, make that a little bit airtight around there. Okay, there we go. Not, not the cleanest, but not bad either. Got a little bit of splatter up on the threads, but uh, cleaned it up a bit with a file, and it still seems fine here. Just throw that into the air gun. Blow gun? Air gun? I'm never sure. They both sound wrong is the problem. Anyway. There we go. All coming out there. So, now for the experimentation. Okay, that was way easier than I expected. Um, pretty much the first thing I did after getting up in the vise, I just, you know, just holding my finger to cut off all but the top sliver. So yeah, this is looking pretty promising. I just need to uh, make it a, a cleaner way of blocking off all but that top sliver of air and then mounting it in line. And that really seems to just be it, just like, just like the design of the pipes I looked at. Just keep that in line and block off all but some of the air. Bob's your uncle. I think. Keep myself a bit over eighth of an inch offset. Um, I can narrow that down if necessary, but I think that'll be fine for this test piece. And so just fits into the end here. There we go. Let's see how it works. After some playing around with it, if I use this quarter inch spacer, I can get a pretty reliable tone. There we go. I think that's a pretty successful prototype. Um, this style of aperture seems to work pretty well. And I now know that I need about a quarter inch gap between here and where the rest of the, the whistle shape begins. So the next step will be to machine all of this into a single pipe um, with another threaded insert on it and see if it works as a single unit. But I think that can wait for next week. So this will be it. and. Hopefully I'll have some good news about the state in Seattle um, this time next week. We'll see.